Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Um, today's video is going to be about the L'Oreal Paris Revitalist Moisturizing Hydrant um, and how it wears underneath foundation. Um, I did get this for free from Influencer. I did do an unboxing, I will link that video down below. So if you'd like to see how this applies and wears underneath foundation and powder, then please keep on watching. Okay everybody, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, it's actually a really good moisturizer. I really do enjoy it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just dot some around the face. I usually, if I moisturize, like use this kind of moisturizer where it's a little bit richer, I usually don't use a primer because I do have combo skin and it can be a little too much product and then my foundation will slip and stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that applied. Okay, um, I wait about 10 minutes after moisturizing and then I start applying, so I will be back about 10 minutes and we'll get this finished. Soaked in. So I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance um, Foundation in 115 Natural Ivory. Um, I really do enjoy this foundation. It's supposed to help with um, age defying and an SPF of 10. The uh, L'Oreal Revitalist Moisturizer um, does not have an SPF in it, so um, you know it's definitely worth um, using a foundation that does have a SPF in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a full squirt. Um, whatever of this foundation on my flat top foundation brush from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to do this. I did get this foundation out on sale at Smith's a couple months ago. It's a really great foundation. It's um, medium to high coverage. Um, I think it was on sale for like three dollars. So, a really pretty finish and everything but And not even a full pump, it's just gonna be like, yeah, about that much, just to cover up a little bit more underneath the eyes and on this side of my face. I always do set my face, so I'm gonna wait for this um, foundation to dry down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face like usual, and then I'll be doing a check-in in a few hours to show you how it's wearing. That's good. Okay, so I think the foundation is finished drying down, so I'm just going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in number 3 Natural and a large powder brush. I'm just going to set my face like usual. Are you guys doing anything fun for 4th of July? I'm filming this on Saturday the 1st, so... Fourth of July here in the States is on Tuesday, so I have the day off, so I'm just going to be relaxing, I think. Tatanka May! Every time, guys, I'm so sorry. I am, so this is a two-bedroom apartment, so I'm going to be converting the second bedroom into a cat-free zone for filming, because every time, every time, she starts. Okay, so here is it finished. Um, you know, it went on really smoothly. Like I said, I really do enjoy this um, foundation a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the moisturizer. So I'm going to be checking back probably in about four hours and just showing you what it's looking like. Um, 
But yeah, I've used the foundation before. I powders my holy grail, so I just wanna show you if the moisturizer affects it at all. So see you guys in a Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been about three or four hours and it is hot. It is so hot. Um, up here in northern Utah and it is about 96 degrees. Um, it is dry heat, thank goodness. It is up in the desert, but yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I have been doing some house cleaning. I've been doing some cooking. I haven't been outside, except for checking the mail. So I'm not gonna pretend that I've been out exercising or like doing something super strenuous, uh, but it is hot. It's warm outside, but um, my foundation hasn't melted down. It's still looking really good around my nose and underneath my eyes. I didn't use any concealer. Um, it's not slipping off the zit, but I do think it's looking pretty good for it being on, on as long as it has been. Um, it's, you know, around my nose, it just naturally gets a little oily. I am, I do have combo skin, especially in my T-zone, so I do get a little bit oilier you know, nose and forehead. But um, yeah, I think I think this um, L'Oreal Revitalift moisturizer is great underneath foundation. Um, I definitely don't think, you know, you're supposed to use this morning and night, and I don't think you should use as much as you do in the evening as you do underneath, underneath your makeup. I definitely do think you would have some issues if you did a lot as like your morning facial moisturizer. But um, the amount that I did um, today when I, started my makeup prep, I definitely do think that is the way to go. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. It doesn't feel um, tight. Um, you know, sometimes when if I add a lot of powder, um, I haven't repowdered by the way, but you know, I do put on a lot of powder to set my face. Um, sometimes it can leave you feeling tight, like especially right here for me and stuff, but it doesn't feel tight at all. Um, I just think it still looks really, really good. So yeah, um, my review and my thoughts and opinions are is this is a great moisturizer to use as makeup prep um, for at least combo skin definitely for dry skin like I said I have combo skin um, I'm not sure if you have like super oily um, if this would be a great morning moisturizer for you um, it is it does leave I'm not gonna say residue but because it, it's moisture but um, it does leave a bit of that feeling on your face so I think if you're oily I don't think it would do well but definitely for combination and definitely for dry I definitely think you would enjoy the L'Oreal Revitalift um, moisturizer underneath foundation um, but yeah I'm pleasantly surprised I'm enjoying it but yeah you guys I hope you enjoyed this little demo tutorial um, review on the Revitalift um, moisturizer from L'Oreal Paris um, but yeah I will Definitely be using that, um, you know, every morning because I'll be honest, I've been using it at nighttime to kind of help it stretch a little bit further, but I'll definitely start using um, a small amount in the morning to do um, my prep. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram at kmadmakeup and my Twitter and Facebook is at budgetglambabe. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time and have a wonderful day. Bye.